So Lionel Lewis is one of the best drummers in the world at the moment, and I'm absolutely fascinated by how he approaches the drums. In this video, instead of looking at some crazy chops and hectic ideas that we all know he plays, we're going to look at a few grooves that I've seen him play. I'm going to break those down and then we're going to learn how to play them. The grooves will go from easy to harder towards the end, so stick around for that. So in this groove, we're going to have 16 notes on the hands. You're going to accent all the and counts. Bass drums will be on one and the uh of one. You then have an open hi-hat on the and of B2, which is what makes this groove. Here's what that sounds like. This next groove is another 16th note groove, but we're going to just play it with one hand on the hi-hat. You're then going to have two open hi-hat parts instead of just one.
Before we move on, I just need to tell you about the video sponsor, Musink. So you've probably noticed that most of my videos include drum notation. Putting notation always helps put everything into perspective and it makes it easier to learn. The better drummers are at reading and writing notation, the quicker they'll be able to come up with new things or learn what others are already doing. This brings us to Musink Pro, a transcription app that was made by drummers for drummers. The big apps like Finale and Sibelius are cool, but they include so many complicated features that I don't use. They also make it quite difficult to write drum parts out quickly. So Musink simplifies this process, making it easier than ever to write out drum parts very quickly. You can write out full drum sheets if you need, or you can simply write out short sections like I do in all of my videos. If you want to find out more about the app and try it out for yourself, just follow the link in the description of this video. This next groove is one of my favorite Lana Lewis grooves ever. It is just such a clean, great idea to play on the drums and it sounds awesome once you get it locked down. So here's how it goes. It's a two bar phrase and just remember when you're playing it, it's swung. So you're playing eighth notes, but when you bring in 16th notes, they are swung instead of played straight. In bar one, at the end, you're gonna end it off with triplets as ghost notes. In bar two, you're gonna end it off with 30 second notes as ghost notes. So you're gonna have a switch between bar one and bar two. There's a lot going on here, so I'll just play it slowly and then just follow along and then we'll speed it up. So those are three epic Lionel Lewis grooves. If you want to see some cool Nate Smith grooves, check this video out. <laughs> 